Nell Fortner. Hey, y'all. It's great to have you with Nell, us. Nell, yeah, baby. Nell, Good to be here. yeah, is finally <laughs> here. And, and what are we saying Nell, yeah, about already in this offseason? Well, we have a lot of new players, y'all. So get your roster out. <laughs> We've got a, not, a lot of new players, seven to be exact. So that's a lot, but it's um, it's an exciting time. It's an opportunity for us to maybe change our style of play a little bit uh, from what we inherited to where, where we're trying to go. Um, so it'll be an interesting year. Well, you bring up the new players. You brought two of the new ones here, yeah. Bianca yeah. Jackson right. and Cam Swartz. What does that mean that you brought them here, and how much have they bought in so far? Well, you've got um, Cameron Swartz was the most improved player in the league last year. Um, so she's... And I remember the first year we played Boston College three years ago, I was like, look, if that kid is ever going to transfer, we need to be the first phone call because wow. she's an Atlanta kid. Yeah. So um, so here she is. And then Bianca ja Jackson, I've known her since she was like, you know, a little one and went to South Carolina. And so playing against her, we're just fortunate to have experience come to the team at this point in time after losing so much experience. Now, when you get all these new players and you're – philosophy is built on defense first. Is it challenging to get them to understand exactly what you mean when you're talking about getting the stance and here are our schemes and ball screen coverages? Yeah. Yes, it is because um, we, we had an extremely good te defensive team for three years and they were they got it they they understood it they worked hard to continue to understand it now we're doing a lot of teaching we have a lot of teaching with seven new players but i have to give them this credit they have great energy they have great um uh, their 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 effort we're not having to coach that effort so we can teach and then move forward quickly so they're picking it up the problem is we're not as big as we were um, with losing Kubai, but with energy and effort, you can do a lot. So we'll see what happens. So you're not as big, but I've watched you practice. You're long. Yes. But you're fast. We are fast. You can be really fast. Yeah. You can put a lineup on the floor that can go, right? We Definitely. We have a, a lot of different ways we can configure our lineup. We can go big. We can go a little smaller and super, super fast um, and do some different things defensively with that lineup. So I like the challenges that it's, it's um, presented because it really does. Our coaching staff is challenged to figure out, okay, what needs to get done for sure today as we progress forward. But I like the idea of pushing tempo more, putting more shots up, because that has not been Georgia Tech basketball. Yeah. Well, I like it. That's gonna yeah. Be, yeah, it's going to be great to see, Coach. And we talked earlier uh, with Cam and Bianca, and one of the things that we asked them was, out of these new faces, who's really stepped up? And one of the first names they said was Tony. What have you seen from, from Tony Morgan so far? Yeah, Tony Morgan is a really uh, supreme athlete. Um, she's, a, she's a guard that can jump out of the gym, first of all. She's a really good offensive rebounding guard, which we've lost that, you know. For, we, we had it before, we lost that. Now she's able to maybe provide that for us. Um, just a great uh, fast player off the bounce, can get downhill. So. She plays a style that we've played in the past off a middle ball screen or being able to just get downhill, um, but being able to really shoot the ball well. So I don't know. I, I think that she's going to surprise some people probably this year. Um, she has, she's not surprising us because mm -hmm. this is what, what we expected. Now you've coached at the highest level, the WNBA. You've won Olympic gold. You've also coached in power leagues, right? Yeah. You've been in the Big Ten. You've been in yep. the SEC now. I think the ACC is as top heavy and strong as it's ever been. Like when you've sat in this seat, yeah. you know, when you start looking at breaking down the league, like what do you see? What are you thinking? I think it's the best league in the country. And I, I think the reason why, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, the coaching is, is really, really good. Um, coaches that can strategize, that can game plan, that can change in the middle of a game. There's a lot that can be done there. But the athletes in this league, it's gone from, it's changed from the time I think I got in the league in 2019 to now, because now with the transfer portal, yeah. it opens things up, but you've got more athletes, more three-point shooters, more off the bounce players. I mean, it is a tough, tough league. You better be really ready to play and defend in this league first and foremost, or your people are going to be putting up 100 points. It's really a speed league, yeah. like the goal. Much play, faster, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. and we've been hearing that from a lot of these coaches, is yeah. um, a need to get faster, a need to play faster. And you, you lose a player in Lodemai Lotnin who handled a lot of point guard duties for you last year. I asked Bianca, I said, are you playing the one, you playing the two? She said, I'm playing both. And it sounded like you guys are doing a little more point guard by committee. Is that the plan, get the ball and go? Well, yes, 
uh, and, and this is the interesting thing about basketball now, I think, what position are you? The answer to that is All on the floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on the floor. That's the position I want to be, on the floor. And so that versatility becomes very, very important. If you want to push pace, you want to push tempo, then you better be able to play anywhere on the floor. Because if you're the first one down, then you need to be able to get on the ball, you know, get it and score it. Or maybe you just stay down there and, you know, take advantage of somebody defensively. But but it's uh, you want to be on the floor. That's the position that you want to play at Georgia Tech. You better go. She's coaching us up. I love so it. Look, but so. it's true. I mean, it's <laughs> yeah. seen the trend as high up yeah. as the NBA, and, and now it's trickling down everywhere. Position was false. Yeah. So pace, push, mismatch automatically can happen if you run hard, yeah. right? Yeah. Is it harder to guard teams in transition, or is it harder to guard teams off the bounce in their ball screen action? Like, which one? Because mm. you have had a philosophy of, Get back, set our D, now score on us. Yeah. Um, you know, Antonelli, uh, both of those are important because guarding an on-ball screen is incredibly hard. Anything off the bounce is just so hard to guard. But you better get back in transition, too, because people are going to run it right up your, you know, just yeah. right up your back if you don't. And so those are things, both of those things, ball screen defense, transition defense, we don't miss a day without working on both <laughs> of them because that has to be spot on. Well, speaking of that, is there anything defensively that you've tweaked if you're going to play faster um, compared to what you've done in the past? Is there anything that you've tweaked defensively? Now, Kelly, I cannot tell you that. <laughs> I could, but I'm trying not to get all, trying to get all the scoop. Yeah, okay. I saw it. I understand. I can't tell you my defensive secret. <laughs> I, I um, saw some yeah. of it, and I'm not going to tell. Yeah, thank you, Antonio. Well, I don't play defense, so I wouldn't understand. <laughs> yeah, so right over my head. You know, defense is defense is heart. Defense is effort. It's it's just the will and the want to play it. You have to have great effort and energy to play it. Um, you might be out of position. You might have done the wrong coverage, but you better recover fast. So you can do that, you know, defensively, you better just be on just playing as hard as you can. Yeah. Offense, more skill work involved there. So two different two different ends of the floor, but you got to be able to play both of them. Nell, yeah. yeah. Nell on wheels. <laughs> like, look how much fun you're having, Nell. I, I love mean, it. <laughs> you're, it's a blast, isn't it? Like, what, well, what, what keeps you going? You've done it it's so, for so long it's at the highest level. Like, yeah, the, it's the kids, it's the players. They, when you get a group, and this group, I have to tell you, they're really fun to coach because they're, they come every day with great effort. They really do. You add two players like Cam and Bianca, well, they're fifth and sixth year players. They're experienced. They're not freshmen and crying and pouting and, you know, like <laughs> sometimes you get. Man, they're like, let's go. I mean, they're correcting people on the floor. I mean, I'm like, this is they great. They want to win. They want to win, absolutely. So, um, and, and, but every team in this conference has this. It is going to be one heck of a year, y'all. It really is in the ACC. And we're looking forward to it, Coach. What have you learned throughout the process? Because as Debbie said, you know, you've coached at a lot of different places. You had a little time sitting here, and now in your fourth year here. Is there anything that is, you know, you look to not just tweak things with your team, with you as a coach as well, you, you've involved? Yeah, th this is, um, I did something different this way, this year. And I'll go ahead and tell you, I've made an offensive coordinator and a defensive mm -hmm. coordinator. And I, I don't know another staff that's done that, and maybe they have, but I just don't know about it. So Tasha Butts is my defensive coordinator. Blanche Alverson is my offensive coordinator. And that's really been good because now they can really focus on those two things. When they bring something to me, when we sit down and talk, we're just talking about that aspect of the game that they're in charge of. Yeah. And it's been great for me. I love it. Now it allows me to do other things, whether it's um, focus on a certain player or do, you know, uh, just do other things within a practice within that day. Um, now, I mean, of course, you got to know everything, but it's just different. I went and sat down with our with our football coach at Georgia Tech, mm. and I said, how, how do you make this work? What does this look like in the football world? And that, that helped me understand it a little better, and I've really enjoyed I, I've enjoyed it. Who's coaching your special teams? <laughs> special teams. Well, we have a rebounding coach. That's Boogie. That's LaSondra Barrett. She okay. is in charge of rebounding. I tell you, in the first two weeks of practice in September, or, you know, when we, when we started, our rebounding has been much better. Now, when the season starts, then, the, you know, <laughs> sure. uh, yeah, then we'll, we'll see what happens. But the focus on it has really been beneficial so far for us in practice. 
when you lose a player like Lorella Kubai, who to me was like Georgia Tech yeah. personified, yeah. Um, you got to replace her somehow. You're probably not going to replace her, but you know, multiple pieces. But Nerea Hamerso, you return, and she's been with you really since yeah. the beginning, and she's so tough inside. What do you expect from her this year? Yeah, well, I expect big things from her. She is, uh, you know, Nerea is more of a finesse post player, and she can, but she's going to be asked to do more inside at a little higher level this year. Kuba was a great, uh, Kuba was Batman and Norea was Robin, yeah. right? Now we're going to ask Norea to be a little bit more of a Batman uh -huh. and we'll see what, what she can do with that. But she's a very versatile post player. I saw her Mosa make eight threes in a row when I was at Georgia yeah. Tech. Hey. So she's shooting a three. Okay. She can, uh, can she stand up Kitley one on one? Yeah, that's going to be her that's challenge. Question, right? That's going to be her challenge because Kitley is a phenomenal post player. I mean, returning, you know, MVP of this, of this conference. And so, that's the standard. Kitley sets the bar. And so does Hermosa want to, does she want to compete with that? We'll, we'll see, but it's going to be a challenge. How about the schedule, Coach? What has you really excited? Oh my gosh, I need to fire myself. <laughs> I'm so hard. That's right. You know, I'm like, I was looking at it going, who made the schedule? And my assistants go, you, yeah. you did. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, really tough schedule. We go, we're, we're on the road with some tough, at Belmont, they're good. Mm, they're Belmont really good. tough. And then at home, at Auburn, Georgia comes to us. We play South Florida, Michigan State, Michigan, Baylor. Like, who made this schedule? <laughs> so, we're going to be Gold Coast Showcase. Yeah. Three teams. That's that right. Power, could be power, three power fives like down South there. Florida, Michigan. That yes. looks like our lineup. So, it's going to be a really challenging schedule. It should get us ready. It, it should make us tougher. Um, that's that's the hope anyway. It all starts November 10th with Georgia State. Coach, we can't wait to see it. We appreciate the time. Thanks, y'all. Y'all have a great day. Thank you so much.